It's really good to be quite clear and to face ourselves as human beings individually and collectively exactly as we are because we are not complex and that's a great relief. After the sense of being uh, like uh, insulted by this statement you start to relax and that it feels good because you see how much effort you put into micromanage and shape your life based on um, superstitious superstitious belief systems about w what human being is. So basically as human beings we can say we have thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences and at the basis of all of those we have open intelligence. Open intelligence is the simple power to know what's looking through your eyes. If you stop thinking for a moment open intelligence is blazingly obvious. That's it, it's simple. Stop thinking for a moment What's in the basis of the thought you had and you completely forgot now? That's open intelligence. And open intelligence does not exist separate and apart from our thoughts, emotions and sensations. Open intelligence is totally united, unified, inseparable from open intelligence, thoughts, emotions, sensations. It's, it's a unified stream of benefit. That's it. That's the definition of what it means to be a human being. Now it's quite different, right? Because if we read uh, different books about the nature of human beings, the nature of our mind is, wow, okay, whoa, wow, scary. That, oh, wow. Thoughts, okay, some negative, I really need to get rid of them. So m how people try to get rid of their thoughts and emotions, some breathe them away, some meditate them away, some analyze them away, some, I don't know, psychoanalyze them away, analyze, analyze them away, away, away. And <laughs> And they always come back and they are more complex than they, they used to because it's not just hatred, it's hatred because in my womb I was, uh, my mother didn't do this or that or she was smoking while I was uh, pregnant and she didn't fe breastfeed me <coughs> and you know, oh I was born in a country where, where, where it's full of violence. You know, it just gets so complex and the books of our afflictions, they grow and grow and grow and then, then you need to relate to other people and to yourself and it's very, it's very dangerous. Because <laughs> you might have an impulse suddenly, or, or you might have a, a bad thought about someone. From the perspective of open intelligence, we learn to see our, our direct experience as it truly is, aligned with reality. So really, take responsibility, that's the invitation. We, we talk about human beings with such great respect. You have tremendous power, you know, take responsibility and use it, get to know it. <laughs> Get to know it within yourself, get to know this perfect love. I'm totally in love with myself. Really, I wake up in the morning, I might have many thoughts about myself, the, the situation, the world. That, well, it all occurs within the perfect space of love, like an even spread of love. With all my thoughts and emotions, and I'm so happy it's uncontrived. Because, oh, I need to love myself. Why? Because I need to, somebody said. <laughs> you know, I need to, I, I, I want to be so... Um, yeah, it's so contrived. The things that I saw in my exploration to find this training, you know, everything led me to here. To find the ultimate answer to all of my questions. Everything. So all the weird things that I saw and participated in, people trying to be loving, you know, usually it involved too much, too much hugging, <laughs> too much looking in the eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> trying to connect in some kind of a weird, bizarre and you know, you might enjoy it, so sorry if I'm insulting you once again, but it, that's not the way to connect. The way to connect is to see, to see simply through this point of view that you have right now, t through this data stream, th that everything rests in natural perfection, including you. You don't have any problems, so stop fooling yourself that you do. <laughs> stop treating yourself like a broken piece of a human being where you, are, you actually house the entire energy of the entire universe, you know, that's, that's the perspective that we want to gain. And it happens one short moment at a time, one short moment at a time. It's not like, okay, now you got it, that's it, you need to act like the most beneficial superhero ever. <laughs> but you start to see in yourself, okay, wow, in the midst of hatred, you know, hatred is another expression of total love. So hatred is not out of the dictionary of um, benefic benefit. Hatred is included, but in the beginning I'm sure it will be quite hard. I know when I, every time I went back to Israel, since I was introduced to open intelligence, it was, 
intense because in Israel there's lots of what we heard just now but it includes also shooting and it's not so far from from where I live you know we need we have a shelter in our house we need to run there every I don't know every time somebody chooses to follow the data streams and press a button you know what it means to uh, emphasize data stream there's a something happening and you need to press the button so for some it's a missile for others it's shouting disconnecting from people, blaming, criticizing, it's the same mechanism. So start to get to know this terrorist uh, camp in yourself, you know, and harmonize it completely by the power of the four mainstays. So in Israel, when I went like, oh, wow, this is so amazing, like how people can treat each other like, t treat each other like that, you know, harm each other, kill children, kill women, kill, uh, kill men, kill I don't know what just destroy and destroy and destroy based on reification because we have different opinions now I was very argumentative before I met this training and still my data streams can be argumentative mm, I know it all and I'm right all the time and, and you are not <laughs> so that's the position where I feel so comfortable <laughs> within my skin okay <laughs> not really anymore it's a joke so <laughs> you know like but then I understand, okay, that's the way I used to act before, you know, if my girlfriend said something, I always know it better, so I need to tell her that she's wrong. And I'll prove it that she's wrong by restating my view over and over again, by pressing the missiles of my argumentative, cynic cynical and critical data streams and ways of speech, right? Until she understands. And if she doesn't understand, we will continue until she understands. <laughs> okay? <laughs> But nowadays I can be totally, you know, something can come up and my first reaction is really to take a short moment and that's a gentle, loving kindness that we always were looking for in the resolution of our arguments. And then the really, uh, basically we don't have many arguments, maybe about one topic. And usually it's uh, about food. <laughs> you know, don't put the paprika there, I don't like the Indian paprika, okay. <laughs> Le let's listen to the group wisdom and find a solution. <laughs> So it's really all, all, all of the, the support that we receive daily from our trainers and, and from the community, from the example of others and our own reliance on open intelligence really resolved all of those drama, Bollywood style dramas of uh, <laughs> ups and downs and whoa, crying and you know like really, come on. <laughs> That's not how I want to spend my life and that's what I saw since a very young age. I saw I don't want to spend my life like that. I don't want to enter in a relationship which basically is a prison of two angry people and miserable people. I don't want it. So what you're doing here when you choose to open up and really relax with all the bizarre ideas of being a human being and really just hanging out and having some fun with all of us, you start to see with th within yourself that you are creating a perfect peace zone. Perfect peace zone that includes and see, see everything equally. The bad, the negative and the neutral and the positive, uh, the same. All are the same reflection of the crystal ball. The crystal ball doesn't break when it has, uh, you know, an ugly face in front of it. <laughs> or a beautiful face, yeah? <laughs> it remains the same. The flawlessness remains the same. The peace, the harmony and the completeness remains the same. That's the nature of us as human beings. And that's a really a cause for total celebration. So the need to be liked, suddenly it meets reality exactly where it is, that everybody wants to be liked and there's no way to do it. Because while you are laughing here at my jokes and, and you know, enjoying from, I'm sure that some of you are thinking, who is this idiot? I wish they would stop talking. <laughs> or maybe, you know, I'm pushing all of your buttons and you really imagine how you do crazy things to me, just so I can stop talking and you will have your nice state of mind. You see? And, and same with other, any other person you meet, that can be the same, you know? Oh, they, sh they should stop existing, because uh, they push all of my buttons. I don't know what I tried to say, but you know what I mean, you know? <laughs> There's no with op complete open-heartedness, which is uncontrived and very natural and reveals itself to itself in short moments. There's just more and more inclusion of everything. People, people will hate you and people will dislike you, for sure. Why? B that's the way things actually are. People will just uh, 
won't agree with your data streams and that's just totally fine. I feel completely fine in the midst of criticism and attack. That's the stability I gained through relying on the four mainstays. That it's no longer an abstraction or an idea what it means to be beneficial, loving and kind. That's what you do in each short moment. A contribution to world peace. Sounds ridiculous, but it, it is the case. Each short moment that you choose to be exactly as you are, leave everything as it is, you contribute greatly to the era of great benefit. So keep going on. Don't stop in depression and don't stop in criticism. That will be a waste of your time. Keep going on. Carry on. We will always be here to support you. Life and death. The Four Mainstays are pervasive. When you live here, you have the Four Mainstays in so many ways. You know, it's pervasive. It pervades all of your life.